Okay. I possibly shouldn't be doing this from a number of perspectives, though. A response, a view on a view. But ultimately, I guess we're in agreement with the understandings eventually understood once the details have been expounded each individual point needs addressing individually from my perspective to enable clarity to be reached though no letter I'll attempt to address the points from the notes I made as I watched it the second time meaning equals understanding beyond that it seems the word purpose would suffice even in significance is purpose in that and that the purpose is significance perhaps I'm going to pass on the religiosity points beyond saying that uh, theism isn't um, limited to Christianity I have no religion and we probably agree any, in any case I have heard you say words that I have agreed with previously afterlife I shared my views on afterlife last year with you though I will recap after life if there is such a thing by what you mean with the term after life it would not be after life it would be a continuation of the experience that we call life how would it be different we might not have physical Or physicality to experience though no less why it would be any different than this experience beyond that I cannot imagine though I have heard stories that state that the intensity of the experience is much more intense in that the awareness of everything that we might term as consciousness is such that it ain't a thing that one would be looking forward to if one hadn't dealt with that which was relevant in that now though your point is you don't need to consider it neither do I and when I get there if I get there if there is anything to experience I'll deal with it as I have to then um, I agree to believe that there is something beyond now that is to be looked forward to is a mistake to put it simply what does it mean to have consciousness you asked you see in my investigation of the human condition I have reduced it down to we are inherently creative beings this is all we are and our creativity has been 
manipulated to accept as a consequence of our acceptance of it false value systems is the error that humanity has made or not enabled itself to break free from yet use the word love as though it's got some significance and love isn't anything actually it's if anything unconditional which means that it isn't anything it's about acceptance if you love something or someone you accept them unconditionally and anything outside of that as a definition of what love is is conditional and therefore cannot be love it's a word that's utilized by many to um, reassure themselves and others that there is meaning perhaps in the relationship in the experience of themselves and each other bringing meaning into one's life from my perspective there is no meaning I don't find it absurd that there is no meaning to life there is purpose is perhaps though there is only consequence and that's purpose everything has purpose that's consequence that's where I'm up to with that I'm not trying to pontificate a, um, a position a point a philosophy a belief system I have no time for theory though I can see that you yourself have um, intellect in that and understanding that one cannot uh, accept theory without accepting all theory and then utilizing the theories to theorize what one is seeking in theory I'm into existential uh, experience or I'm into experiencing the existential reality that we exist within and as existentialism it's not see the philosophy uh, philosophy is about man because it's specifically man generally although I do believe there are some women involved uh, chewing cud uh, spell that however you want uh, there is a um, facetious nursing my statement there intentionally to sort of brush aside my concerns with humour perhaps suffering not perhaps suffering the subject of suffering suffering is an observation the injuries you endured as a youth you endured you didn't suffer unless you decided to suffer do you want to define it as suffering it's and you endured it suffering is a, a an observation in fact after the recent interaction on the uh, ironies video and I was told that being is a state rather than an experience and the state of being would be the experience then my only other uh, experience that I encountered was observation and so if being is a state and not an experience then all all experience is merely observation and um, I've yet to fully absorb the uh, implications of such a not understanding such a meaning of the word experience maybe you already have um, clarity on that as a consequence of your understanding of philosophical theory or philosophical understandings let's say because I don't want to be um, belligerent in my um, opposition to theory though I don't oppose it in general as 
uh, thing that others shouldn't do. Do what you uh, will. From my perspective, just don't harm any other life. Especially unnecessarily. I mean, there are harms that are inflicted on other life as a consequence of our acceptance of the understandings of well, what I'm thinking of there is animals being killed and we've got a long way to go before we stop killing animals we need to stop killing each other we need to exchange the current financial system for one that values life and not currency There's no point in me interacting on your, with your audience. I'm possibly seen as an ignorant orf. Orf. Not an ignorant orf. An ignorant orf. As a consequence of my lack of education, though I don't see it that way. In fact, I say that I understand as much as you do about most things. There was something I just mentioned earlier that... Uh, contradicts that statement though intellect is not about intelligence it's about knowing understanding and that's the only meaning there is is the understanding of what is meant by anything why do you need to find meaning why do you need to seek for something you're seeking for something that's not there the context you use the word meaning is to see, seek some purpose for that which you experience it's it's not necessarily purposeless but the purpose that it has is the purpose that is given by the humans that are experiencing the reality that we create because we are creating this reality that's the important thing for me is being here and now and is what is is and it is because we accept and allow it to be. Thank you.